What's going on guys and welcome back to another vlog. In this one, we're gonna be, uh, the video before this, we went ahead and put the film handler up on the wall. And uh, now the, almost the second part, I guess part two, could be part two, is that we're gonna go ahead and put shelving units, some wall shelving units right here, uh, right below the film handler so that we can go ahead and put all the film that's currently on the ground up to either just also to display and to make it look nice and a little bit more organized. So today uh, I went ahead and went to home uh, Lowe's this time, not Home Depot. And I got these Blue Hawk shelving wall shelving units. So it's gonna be a really, really simple uh, installation. I'm gonna, just gonna be taking wall anchors and attaching these to the wall about here. Same thing over there on that side, uh, just shy of 40 inches. I have 60 inch boxes. Um, but eventually I'll, I'll transition over to 40 inch boxes. So I need something wide enough to hold the 60 inch boxes, but not so wide that it can't hold the 40 inch boxes. So I'm thinking right around 38 inches or so is gonna be the good spot. So we'll be about right there, ballpark. And, uh, and then we'll go, we'll go ahead and uh, put the film on the wall and get it off the floor and make it look all nice. So uh, yeah, if this is a boring vlog for you, then uh, I guess you can uh, watch the next one or another video I got. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we got the first, the first one down. Um, so I went with these pretty aggressive, like wall anchors. These are like quarter inch. Th these like wings are like a quarter inch, and these are like three inches, I think, the bolts. I wanted to make sure that there was enough room to go through the width. See how wide that is? About an inch. The the thickness of this plus the thickness of the drywall um, to be able to uh, to be able to mount these. And I can't remember how much each one of these boxes weigh, but there's a fair amount of weight within each box. It's kind of getting dusty from the drywall drilling. Um, so there's a fair amount of weight in each, in each box. So, and this is gonna hold all that weight. So that's why I went with these bigger heavy duty bolts because I wanted to make sure that, that it can hold and it's just not gonna rip off the wall. So hopefully that should do it. Um, should be more than enough and there's four here. I'm gonna do another four on this side, but this is pretty much all set here and just gotta replicate the same thing on this side and then um, be able to put the, uh, the shelves on there and then put the film on there. So not too bad. this looks pretty good right what do you think it's all organized now everything's off the floor i can go to the side here all the labels are over here so i can kind of i can go ahead and see which uh which films are which and real easy i can pick and choose i think this turned out really well i think this turned out really well yes i'm very pleased we'll go ahead and get you off here so i can give you a, a quick show all right so you can see i got all the labels out this way so i'll be able to see which ones are which and nice and easy and uh, i get the film handle right up there so everything's all organized right here on this wall all my film right there and as you can see from the side it's 
perfectly in line with the film handler. So any film that I do pull down or a pre-cut, it's not going to get in the way of the, uh, of the, fi or the film isn't going to get in the way of the film coming off the film handler. So I think that turned out really, really nice. This looks so good. So good. Now, just give you a quick one here. So this is this side of the garage with the uh, solar effects banner here. Really awesome too, especially when I'm opening the doors open. Um, you guys can, people drive by, people see through and they see window tinting. So I get a lot of people to stop in regards to that. Got all the film organized here. Got my, uh, my shelves over here with all the, what was that, paper towels over here, microfiber towels, some flat glass stuff, my heat lamp demo. Um, and then over here I have the rest of my ladders and then my solar effect my solar effects my Sol sun solutions tinting banner my business banner right here the only thing that i really don't like is i don't like this ladder right here this ladder right here when i put cars in because it's so narrow this is a super this is a wide angle lens too but this is only like 12 feet so this ladder i have to move every single time because if i open the door um of a client it, i could hit that instead i could get like six more inches so I don't know what I'm going to do with that ladder. I'm going to move it somewhere. I was thinking if I could put it above, but maybe I might be able to put it above if I'm thinking about taking this banner and moving it down about a foot. And then that way I can put that ladder up at the very top right there and kind of get it out of the way, but still need it if I need it. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of it guys. I hope you guys, oh, I'm going to stand there and hold this here. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, this is kind of like an, an easy way for, to, to do uh, organization with your film. So if you guys have any other ideas, suggestions about how you guys organize your film, let me know in the comments below. So uh, pretty much it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.